Text 51551. The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Uh, now imagine this, the ground that you are standing on now, or that your chair is situated on, or your car is situated on, was once down in the Southern Hemisphere, near the South Pole. And then it migrated, moved up. And eventually, we arrived where we are, I think about 60 million years ago. Did we, thereabouts? Well, our... St- <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, I'll introduce you, right? <laughs> to make sense of this, I'm joined by Dr. Siobhan Power, geologist with Geological Survey Ireland. And uh, Siobhan is the co-curator of a new exhibition that's taken place in Collinsburgs. Good afternoon, Siobhan. Thank you, Ray. Sorry yeah. about the... No, 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 60 million. No, you see, I was just saying before we went on air and uh, that it's, it's ne- near impossible for me to get my head around the figures. Billions of years and millions of years and, and it, like it's just colossal, isn't it? Yes, and we're so used to used to it as geologists. We just talk about yes. it as if it's really normal. Yeah, yeah. And, and it is normal. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Oh, see, there you go. You, oh, my head's going to yes. explode. Yeah. The oldest rocks in Ireland are 1.7 billion, billion years, years old. old. Um, we're here here in Dublin. We're sitting on limestone and the limestone formed uh, when we were in the tropics around 330 million years Ago. ago. And that was towards the end of all the really exciting things that happened okay. in Ireland. So our evolution from 1.7 billion years ago in in the Southern Hemisphere to where we are now has been a very long evolution, very exciting. Yeah. Ireland, for being relatively small, has really great diversity of geology. And it's purely because we're on a passive plate now, but we've been at the edge of all the action. So, we've, uh-huh. yes, so we've seen an ocean open and close. We call that the Iapetus yes, Ocean. See, there you go, an ocean opening and closing. So let's start it. Let's let's start at the beginning then. So this bit of land that we're on, I just say it's very small. We're an island. Uh, at some stage, was located south of the equator. Yes. All of it or some of it. Well. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it has evolved. It has. It has been. It has assembled through time. Yes. So not. It's not all the same age. So if our oldest rocks are off Donegal, one point seven billion. Our youngest rocks, as solid rocks, are probably the rocks that are associated with the opening of the North Atlantic, and that's the Antrim basalts in Northern Ireland and he, the Cooley Peninsula here okay. here in County Louth. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's been gathering. The whole story has been building all through those millions and billions, billions of, of years. years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you can't say what age Ireland is because yeah. it's all in different parts. What age is the Earth? Four point six billion. billion years old. Right. Years old. Yes. When did man arrive? Oh, <laughs> that's way too modern for me to worry, it, about. You don't worry about. No, that's I don't even worry about. It's that. rocks. You're no, that, you've no interest in, yes. in, in humans. Or, that's tens of thousands. Hun- yeah, rather yeah. than okay. rather than. Okay. No. Now, and, and let's use the 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 exhibition that's on in Collins Barracks as a sort of a starting point. So you have this huge map of Ireland, and on that map you've laid out the different rock types in different places. We do, and in a way that tells our story. It does, yes. It do, it tells the whole story. We have an eight metre by six metre map of the geological map of Ireland. Not many people would know that map. We're very used to it. Each different colour is a different rock type or different groupings of rocks. They tell that whole story of this ocean that opened and closed. And then we moved into the southern mid-latitude desert. So we have the red sandstones of Cork and Kerry. Thought to have given Cork its red, as in the GAA colours, uh-huh. because of the red sandstone. Yeah. Then we moved into the tropics, and about 50% of Ireland is limestone from the tropics, including here in Dublin. See, the way you talk about it, it sounds like we're, just, we're on that a raft, just normal. floating up. Yeah, yeah, it's just normal. But this and is over is millions us. and billions of years, it so is. It's, the movement is imperceptible over time. Around the rate that your fingernails grow. That's, that's a, a, right, a, right. Approximately that. Yeah, yeah. But the earth is a dynamic earth. And we're on these plates and all these plates keep moving all of the time. Yes. So it, the story... Tectonic plates. Tectonic plates, yes. yes. The yeah. earth is... The whole of the globe is divided into large plates and smaller plates and they all continue to move, which is why we talk about oceans opening and closing. So at the moment, the North Atlantic is opening. Open for business, right? It's opening, yeah. And <laughs> right. we know this because Iceland is getting wider and bigger and the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is continuing to, to spread. Now, further. the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, is that where, where sort of the landmass of Europe 
um, and the landmass of America sort of meet. Is that, yes, yes. So yes. there's somewhere so, in, there's yes. somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic where where Europe the, stops and America starts. Is, is it, if you like it, yeah, to think yeah, of it that way, yeah, there's yeah. a whole chain of mountains that you can follow, and it it comes above sea level at uh, in Iceland, which right. is why we have Iceland as there. In, yeah, there, yeah, yes, yeah, it's okay. a really as as land goes, it's very young. Can, can I just ask you a personal question on on this? Like you, you you're you it must you're constantly reminded of how minuscule we are in the scheme of things like even time size all of those things we're, we're, we're minuscule we are geologists i think have a very different notion of time oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and because we think of the big time um and we we maybe have a different notion of what's a disaster as well um right be- because it's it's so say la palma at the moment yes so are, are you is that like your sort of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. Is that, is that, is that <laughs> well, of, do you get really excited about something like all that? All of those, yes. It's shown the dynamic Earth. It's shown yes. that the Earth is constantly in motion, that things are happening. And we like to understand what's going on and we like to see how everything is connected. And so we understand fairly well yeah, okay. how, why it's happening. So when we migrated up here, uh, at one stage, North America, Africa, Europe, uh, Ireland probably all connected in one big landmass, were they? Yes, if we walked due west of here, we'd walk straight into the next land that's due west of here, which is Labrador, Canada. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so we, we kept going, right? But then the North Atlantic opened, opened. Ah, yes, and that's see. what separates us. But we can see the geology connecting through. Yes. So all the thing, everything that we see here, we can see it going through. Well, it's it's in a north, northeast to southwest line. So this great. Okay. Uh, chain of mountains, the Calidonides. These were formed about four hundred and fifty million years ago. Right. Yes, from Norway, Greenland, uh, Scotland, the northern half of Ireland, including like Connemara, and then it goes straight into Newfoundland, and then into the Appalachians of the Americas. So it's all one chain of mountains where these continents closed together right. to close yes. this. Yeah, uh, so we can see that. And part of all this movement is that there's a line. Uh, I read it in the article there from uh, Carlingford down to, to Shannon Estuary. Yes. That cuts the, the, the island in two. Yes, it's covered because yes. it's covered by subs- the, by the later rocks, including the limestone that we're sitting on here in Dublin. But yes, so everything north of that line has uh, greater affinities to Greenland, Canada, the North Americas, and everything south of that line is more connected to uh, Africa, Australia. So it's it's the, right. it's two different continents, and we can see it so quite nicely. So at some nicely. stage in our past, then were they separated? Yes. Yeah, so that they was were. this ocean. Okay. That I so about. okay, yeah, and they yes. came together. And they came together, and they came together in the same way as oceans close now, and we had everything that volcanic island arcs. Uh, gr- so great volcanoes, yeah. great uh, seismic activity, subduction zones, uh, accretionary wedges, uh, sediments gathering up uh, on uh, above the subduction zone, and we can see all that evidence here in in, in the rocks. Yes. So, so for a small little country, there's a lot going on. Huge, huge amount going on, and yeah. what we're trying to show in the in the exhibition is that we've had this great diversity, but also everything is connected. So with the work of Geological Survey Ireland, we're involved with the mapping, but we're involved with the groundwater mapping, the geophysical mapping of the rocks, the geochemical mapping of the rocks, the seabed mapping, which is a huge part of our work. But everything is connected. And the other thing we're we're shown in the exhibition is everything we have comes from the earth. So it's not grown. It has to come out of the earth. So everything here in the studio, yes. the paper, minerals, uh, minerals yes. yes, everything has to come from the earth. So we have a display of a variety of minerals and we have a section that we're calling Stone Age to Phone Age. So back in the Stone Age, everything was quite simple, basic. But now with a phone, we all expect to have supercomputers in our pockets. Yes. There's up to 60 minerals in in. A phone. So it's to show we have a reconstruction of a kitchen. So everything you do in your kitchen has to have come from, from the earth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we're ruining the earth. We'll come on to that in a moment. Uh, so 175 years of uh, this geological survey, uh, Ireland. Yes. Queen Victoria commissioned it initially to see. W- w- was she looking to see if there was any wealth, any you know, gold or silver underneath Coal, probably, Coal primarily, primarily right, for, okay. for the Industrial Revolution. Yeah. All right. Sh- a lot of the geological surveys of the empires, the British Empire, started at that time. And a lot of the people were even the same people. So one of the early directors of the Irish one went off to found the Geological Survey of India. So we've shared history right. in that sense. So, yes, it started as an act of parliament 
to complete the geological mapping of Britain and Ireland. Mm. But we're not complete yet. And we have no intention of completing okay. any time soon. So we, we didn't find any any precious metals or coal? Or well, we have some. Co- we had some coal and they were important locally, like Arigna. Arigna, yes, uh, yes which, is, which is still Castle open. Comer. Have you been up to Arigna? Uh, it's open as a museum. Yes, yes it's really, really amazing. good. Amazing. It's beautiful, it's yes. Nice, yeah. Yeah. And the fact that it's the miners are Who giving are the, the guides. tour yeah, yeah, is, is yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, Castle Comer as well, so a few in South Tipperary and, and Kilkenny. But we have metals. We have the largest zinc mine in Europe, yeah. in, in Navin. Uh, so we What's ha- zinc used for? Zinc is, it's a protector. So it's for galvanising, but right. it's also in uh, sun cream, pseudocrim, nappy rash cream. So it protects uh, from the elements. Aha, it, yes, right, so okay. it, it, it um, lengthens the life of other okay. metals. Now, all of this movement over millions and billions of years was all natural. And then man comes along and the Industrial Revolution... Uh, and we start to change things. Who would have thought that we could actually change things? Like, you know, so uh, oceans now are, you know, getting higher, melt, ice is melting. What's going to happen? Well, <laughs> I suppose we're part of the big ecosystem. We're part of what's... I know, but our predecessors with their with their arrows and, and, and you know, spears, they couldn't really influence things. No, they, they no. Were, there were a lot fewer of them. Yes, yes. Um, and mm-hmm. also, yeah, they had different methods. Yes. We're putting, we're burning our fossil fuels and we're, we're changing the atmosphere and that is changing. Yes, it's changing the oceans, it's changing the, the weather systems, yes. the climate systems. What's going to happen next? Well, I think... In the short term, we need to, this is why we need science. This is why we need to all work together. We need to look at the earth as a whole system. All the things are interconnected. So if you have the information and the knowledge from geologists and they work with engineers and they work with climate scientists, we can understand better what's happening and we can maybe slow things down and we can uh, uh, mitigate slightly. Um, When the earth is done with us, It'll be done with us. I mean, it got rid, you know. Go on, that sounds they, doomsday they, like, go on. <laughs> I mean, if you think about the, the dinosaurs. Yes. They, they were around for about 140 million years. They and then were, the earth decided. They was, were successful. Yeah. I mean, in, for while they were here. We're not here that long, really. We're only tens of, of thousands of years here yet. So. So what so you're saying is earth, when the earth becomes inhabitable, it's going to happen very quickly. It's us that will suffer, us as humans. Yes, yes. The earth will keep going. Oh, the Earth's yes. been through worse. Yes. Right. But that's why I said geologists look at, at things a little different. But I don't want to take from the, from that we need to do things now. Yeah. We need to make things good for our Are you living now. I am quite hopeful. I'm quite hopeful partly from what we've seen for the last 18 months. Scientists involved with um, yeah. medicine yes. all came together and every all the... The signs were, all the road signs were green, go. I know, but it was, it, it, together. It, there was an immediate threat. Yeah, but we should look at this as an immediate well, threat. But, that, but that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the thing, people don't. And, and, no, and I think, m- most importantly, governments don't seem to look at it as an immediate threat. Well, I think that they are moving in that direction yeah. and they are looking. But I think part of it is for also scientists to communicate it mm. and bring everybody along together. Yeah. Some of the decisions will be painful. Some of the decisions will be difficult. Uh, in Ireland, we'll, there'll be things we'll have to change. Like what? Uh, well, for example, we've stopped burning uh, peat. And therefore, there's sections in the Midlands where that was their industry. So now we have, we should we need to look at alternatives. You know, nobody should have to. We all should pay equally yes. rather than any one sector. It shouldn't be one set of countries that are paying for it and not a different set of countries. No, it needs a global it reaction, needs, like like the reaction to the COVID. COVID, exactly. Yeah, pandemic. It needs all the scientists together, yeah. all working yes, together, yes. all lights green. With a sense of urgency, yes. yes, and and political will, yes. And you're hopeful. I am hopeful, but I think we as scientists have a big communication job to do. Yeah. Um, now, uh, da, 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 where are the footprints left? Where are the footprints left by the tetrapod in Killarney National Park? Really, three hundred eighty million years old. Is that Killarney Park or, uh, or Valencia Island? Valencia Island. Valencia Island. Valencia Island. Yeah, yeah three hundred and eighty-five million. I and think. where was Ireland when that happened? <laughs> uh, south of the equator. Right. Okay. Yeah, south of the equator. Uh, and we have in the museum. Uh, 
a slab of the, the Valencia rock and we have a reconstruction of the animal that of made the tetrapod. Of, of the tetrapod. I'm a tetrapod too. You're a tetrapod yes. as well. We've all got the four legs. Yeah. But yes, of that particular tetrapod, it's kind of a salamander type animal. Uh, and that was a big moment because they, they came out of the water and exactly. onto, onto dry land. All life had been in the sea before then. Yeah. Uh, from that, it's called the Devonian geological period. We have evidence of the movement of plant life onto land in um, in. Kiltorkin in Kilkenny and we have this very important site at Valencia which is the first right. animal life to move onto the land. Uh, you have to book, it's free but you have to book it. Indeed, uh, that's for yeah, COVID. It's in Collins Barracks, museum.ie. It looks fascinating and hugely interesting. It'd be of great interest to school teachers, yes. children, everybody around uh, learn more about it's our history yeah, and we should know I was it. asked, we were down in, in Waterford and I was asked by my nine-year-old son why is that rock red? Yes. yes. Because it's uh, well, in Waterford, it's a mixture because it's volcanics as well, because they had the copper industry, the right. copper coast in the geopark down there and limestone as well. But it's probably to, the particular one he was looking at might have been volcanics from from the Ordovician. Right. OK. See, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. So if I went to this, I would know that. Uh, yes, you would. <laughs> you would yes. Right. OK. Uh, Dr. Siobhan Power, thanks so much. Um, I, my head is still frazzled by all that, but I, I think I know a little bit more. And you will definitely find out more if you go to Collins uh, Barracks. How long is it running for, Siobhan? For at least 18 months. Oh, and great. Yes. Mu- museum. The booking e. is purely because of COVID. Yes. And It'll there will be, be school tours, uh, I imagine, come, uh, yeah, come uh, next when, April, when May. When the yeah. time allows. Yeah. OK, great. The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1. Thank you.